This session relates to cleaning air guns. And air guns are cleaned quite differently and using different products to firearms. In order to clean a conventional air gun, whether it be a spring loaded or a pre-charge, you're going to have to get something down the barrels. Very difficult indeed for something like a modern gun, such as the Air Arms S510. And in particular, any of these pre-charged guns generally work with a very, very small loading port. It makes it very difficult indeed to use brushes and mops and rods because we're working with a tiny area in which we can actually access it. To make it simple, we developed a very simple package which contains everything you need. Most importantly, obviously, are the instructions which come in each kit and provided you follow them through sections one through to five, it is really not a difficult thing to do and that doesn't matter whether it's a pre-charged or a Springer gun. All the components that you need are within this kit. From the tool, which is used to access the barrels, through to the appropriate chemicals, which are specifically important because air gun products are different to firearms products and the wrong chemicals used on a pre-charged gun can damage O-rings and seals. All of the leading air gun producers have used, tested and endorsed this product so it can be used very safely on all the major brands. The first stage is to get chemical into the barrel itself. This will soften any uh, fouling that's in there and make the removal much easier. It also oils the gun at the same time. Now, it can be done with the moderator in place, but if you're in a position to remove it, now is a good time to take it off. It makes the job much easier to access the barrel if you apply it directly to the barrel without the moderator in. So before we put the gun back together, it's important that we actually add a couple of uh, blobs of air gun grease to the threads of the moderator. It makes it much easier to remove it again later. All I'm doing is just introducing that onto there and just spinning it on, that's it. Okay, now the next stage is to introduce the cleaning cable through the barrel of the gun. Obviously that needs to be done with the gun vertical. We have to thread carefully this soft loop down through the barrel. By doing so without any assistance, it can be a fiddle to get it in place. To make it much easier, a standard drinking straw available from all fast food restaurants makes the job much easier indeed because that can be located into the barrel and then we simply pass the cable through that and it can be threaded down into the loading chamber. And then by introducing the cable through the barrel through the very tiny loading port we simply guide it back through so we can easily attach the cleaning patches. These are Dacron bonded and the appropriate number that you use for each calibre is obviously stated in the instructions. Very simply they're attached to the soft loop at the end of the cable. At this stage we then carefully pull the patches back through the barrel and guide them gently into the bore and then in one fluid action pull them through the barrel. We repeat that process three or four times until the patches emerge from the barrel clean. Now remember it's only the outer patch that gets dirty so we only replace that one each time and eventually when we get to the stage after about three pulls we get it to as clean as that stage. We can then, as far as I'm concerned, consider that barrel to be clean on the inside. The job's nearly done. Now what we have to do is make sure we clean the outside of the gun and make sure there's no rusty finger marks or anything on the outside of the bluing that can cause harm. The kit contains a field patch which is pre-saturated with two mil of oil when it's very easy to use we just tear it open and apply that to all the external surfaces only avoiding the optics of course. Take the patch and completely wipe over all of the external surfaces of the gun particularly paying attention to the bluing and anywhere where your fingers may have been or where you may have even spilt blood because that is highly salt content and that will cause corrosion. All of the gun can be cleaned with this and it's not an issue if you get it onto the woodwork because it's perfectly safe in that area. Really good for cleaning in the loading ports and all over. The very last stage is to wipe over the outside of the gun to remove any excess oiling with a microfilament cloth such as the Napier Ultra Soft and that in turn makes sure there is no finger marks or anything left on that gun. Perfectly safe over all the woodwork, you can burnish and polish it off. Okay, and that's it. The gun is now clean inside and out. 
it's finger mark proof, it's ready to go, be put away in a safe place, ready for next time you wish to use it.